Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Capablanca and Israel. The game was played in Buenos Aires in 1914. And where is Buenos Aires? In this game, Capablanca had white pieces and he started with F4, bird opening. Israel played D5. Even today, this is the most popular answer to f4. Knight to f3. Knight to f6. b3. e6. Bishop to b2. c5. e3. Knight to c6. Bishop to b5, pinning the knight. Bishop to d7 and pinning. Capablanca cast at kingside. a6. Perhaps better was bishop to d6, developing the bishop. a6. Bishop takes knight. Bishop takes bishop. c4. And there is another chance to play developing move. Knight to d7 was played, preventing knight to e5. Knight to c3, queen to c7, rook to c1. Again, there is a chance to play developing move. f6. This is a weak move. Pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn. d4. Opening files. Rook to d8. Pawn takes pawn on c5 and one more chance to develop the bishop. Instead, knight takes on c5. Knight to d4. And now there is a problem. If now bishop to e7, then b4 and after a knight moves, let's say knight goes to d7. There is a move like this. So queen to f7 was played, defending e6, b4, knight to d7, b5, pawn takes pawn. How would you recapture the pawn with c knight or d knight? Capablanca captured with c knight, bringing rook on c1 to action. Threat is knight to c7, knight to b8, and now it is white to move. I'm not sure if I should call next move that Capablanca played a killer move, but it is very interesting move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the best move for white in this position. Ready? What did you find? Look what Cavablanca played. Horse in front of Queen's nose. And she can't capture the horse. If Queen takes knight, another horse jumps to c7 check, and then knight takes Queen. Hmm. Bishop takes knight knight to c7 and now black regrets that he didn't develop his dark square bishop when he had a chance so king has to go for a little walk king to d7 knight takes bishop threat is rook to c7 check winning queen knight to c6 e4 pawn is pinned can't take King is trying to hide. Queen to a4. And now if bishop is developed, say, to e7 or somewhere, then queen to a8 check. And after king to d7, queen takes pawn. So black played 
attacking to b8, defending a8 square. Bishop to d4. Bishop to d6. Dark square bishop is finally developed, but perhaps too late. e5, attacking the bishop. What happens if pawn takes pawn? Then white is winning a piece. So after e5, bishop to c7. Bishop is in the way now. Queen can no longer defend a7. You'll see now what I'm talking about. Capablanca captured knight on c6 with rook. Pawn takes rook. Now queen to a7 is possible, but instead e6. That is preventing black king from escaping. Of course, pawn is immediately attacking the queen, but queen can't take the pawn. Pawn is a taboo because queen to a7 is check and then queen takes bishop is checkmate. So queen must defend the bishop. Check. King to c8. Black is not resigning. So Capablanca, instead of giving checkmate in three moves, decided to torture his opponent for longer. This is checkmate in three moves. Queen to a6 check. King to b8 check and checkmate. Instead of queen to a6, queen to a8 check. Bishop to b8. Queen takes pawn check. Bishop to c7 check. Bishop to b8. White played a move and black resigned. This is easy to find now. Can you see it? Rook to c1 check and black resigned. The only defense is queen to c7. And now white can give checkmate in three different ways. Can you see all three? This is first one, second one is queen to a6, and third knight to a7. We can say that black lost because he didn't develop his dark square bishop on time. When bishop was finally developed, it was too late. Game was nicely played by Capablanca. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.